What was that movie with Bill Pullman? Do you remember the name of that? The the movie about voodoo? Oh my goodness. Uh we talked about this on um we talked about this on Everything is Trash. I've seen this movie, so The Serpent and the Rainbow. All right, can you look <laughs> this up on YouTube? I know, we'll, we'll only play like 20 seconds of it. We'll talk over it so we don't get a strike. But I just want to say, like, I had heard about this movie from you, and this is definitely one of those things where, like, you know what? You know, like, I won't. I, we have not come a long way, but we've become, like, a maybe – a tiny way because if this because you know as as sick as i am of like the clickbait like you know like anytime a new even marginal like netflix series comes out like you know everybody's oh this is a problematic yada 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 like and i'm so sick of that watching this trailer was like oh i wish that the clickbait culture existed at this point at this time because wow what 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 uh studio produced this movie but believe me in 2019 people would be picketing their freaking picketing their studio lot <laughs> let's all right let's kidding, watch dude. we got it let's watch like the first like and again talk over it because youtube is yeah, now filled with narcs and you i'm gonna and, speed yeah. it up a little bit this was directed by Wes craven what's craven this was directed by Wes craven whoa <laughs> That is a, they got top shelf talent there. All right. It's, it's beyond West problematic. Raven, it's like, dude. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this is already like the snakes, a story of a forbidden world between life and death. Whoa. Bro, it's a horror movie, <laughs> and the premise of the horror movie is yeah. just that these people went to Haiti. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> they just went to right. just visited Haiti. Like, they're not in a haunted house. They're not in, like, you know, dealing with a chainsaw massacre guy. Literally, these guys went to Haiti and the horror movie is true. That's it. <laughs> so did you watch this movie as a kid before you went to I Haiti? Thought, and it wasn't even as a kid. It was one of those movies, like, when I first got HBO. Right. Which is, I think I was, like, 10, 11. Like, so I wasn't, like, 6. Where you like really get scared to death and stuff. I might have been like 10, 11 years old. And they used to play this on some of the premium channels. Really? Um, and, I, and I watched it. But at the time, I don't think I realized that they were in Haiti. <laughs> like, I just felt like I was watching, like, you know, it's just, oh, man. White people are the best, man, I got to say. <laughs> I got to give you a Bill Clinton story that will make you love Bill Clinton even more. Because I actually read. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I am this out of it where I couldn't get through all of it, but I actually did try to read Bill Clinton's autobiography, mm. partially on the premise that, like, tangentially, like, it is it is my job. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, that's it. And he, I don't remember the specifics of it, but the long story short is he did a kind of, he did a voodoo ceremony in Haiti when he was a young man. And it was like, it was done by like, you know, like it was very like, it was like a, 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 a French Haitian, like a Haitian man who I think had lived in France for many years and had like a PhD from the Sorbonne and had returned to Haiti where he was like an academic, but also a voodoo priest. And Bill Clinton did the ceremony. And I remember just reading that and just being like, man, I thought two things. I was like, Bill Clinton really is kind of cool. And the second thing I thought was like, leave it to Bill Clinton to literally go to a place as a young man and have like a positive experience and then just be like, oh, that place where I did that voodoo ceremony, that's where I've got to ruin their cotton economy. Bro, and the thing is, doing voodoo, basically going to a voodoo ceremony, and sorry about Ted in the back. No, it's fine. That's, that's Ted. He doesn't care that we're doing a live podcast YouTube stream. No. He doesn't care. 
Ted never you cares. Some other dogs walking in the courtyard and just goes nuts. I've heard Ted on the Basketball Buds podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, if you've listened to any Count the Ding show, you're familiar oh, with yeah. Ted. He's part yeah. of the show. He's a co-host. Yeah, oh, definitely. He's actually credited on the show. <laughs> um, but no, like going to Haiti and like, yo, I'm going to embed myself with some voodoo priests and priestesses. Like, that's just like one of those, like, it's like somebody who's like, yo, I want to leave the resort type of shit. It's like, no, 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 no. I want to do the real I want to leave you know the resort. I mean? Yeah. That's, that's essentially what it is like. Wait, yeah, so- I know the resort is cool and there's actually Dominicans here, like, you know, making us drinks and bringing food for us and stuff. But no, like, I want to go to where they hang out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what Bill Clinton essentially did in Haiti. That's how you know he's a sicko. I want to leave the resort. Wait, so it's like you're saying like the the only people in the the only white people worse than the white people at the resort are the white people that leave the resort. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm a total no, leave I'm the I'm, I am total I am totally one of those leave res, re, leave the resort assholes. Oh my god. By the way, going going to to a voodoo ceremony is, yeah. you know, it's a step way beyond those people, those white women who get cornrows on the beaches <laughs> in the Caribbean. <laughs> We've all seen that. Wait, but <laughs> and been like, really, white lady? But here's my really? question for you. you. But what if, I feel like, though, this is all under the premise of, yeah, like it's 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 corny and it's, you know, if we want to, you know, it's it's what all of that. But here's my question. I, I've never actually done any type of voodoo ceremony, but here's my question is like, what if it actually works and I could settle some accounts that way? I mean, oh, I'm, I'm not going to, you know what I mean? I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to not do that just because you raise an eyebrow at me wise. No, but here's Excuse the thing, you. here's the thing about somebody like you or Bill Clinton or any other <laughs> white person. Uh, right? No, I, I, I like, let's keep it at that. Me or Bill Clinton. Yes. Sure. Are, yes. are we considering Bill Clinton to be an authentic cultural anthropologist? Like, do we think of him that way? Yes. <laughs> well, then, you have your answer. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we think Bill Clinton is legitimately, you know, trying to get deep into the crevices of culture, then I have no problem with him doing that. That's one of the fun. There's this book. Um, that I might use if I can't, I have to think of how to figure out how to put the, it has to be a little bit more geopolitics, but I kind of want to do an illicit history of the Cali cartel. And there's this book. Oh man, that'd be cool. Yeah. And there's this book called at the devil's table, which is about the man, basically the head of the Cali cartel security. It's the third season of Narcos. It actually follows the book pretty closely. He took down the cartel almost by being like a double agent more and um he's he was in charge of security for the families and the second brother in the cartel had four wives and the third wife was a witch and so he went and did like security at her apartment and there would all there would be like bowls of water with like an egg floating and like different like you know like uh aloe plants and and she was like you know I appreciate everything you're doing. And if you ever need like, you know, protection or whatever, talk to me about it. And I just remember being like, that is, that is something like a multi-billion dollar, like ruthless crime syndicate and the third wife can do that. That's pretty formidable. Yeah, man. And that's why we tell people, yo, stay away from Colombian women, man. (laughs) It's scary. Bro. Hey, I thought that was a scary nod. That hours. sounds more like a nod take than yours. Nod take than yours. Yeah. <laughs> See, you say that and as yo, a joke. Way, he would just be like, no, way, but just seriously. Just to wrap a bow on this uh, zombie uh, voodoo stuff. Yeah. We know for a fact that my boy, God rest his soul, Tony Bourdain, would have went right with Bill Clinton. He would have been deep in there, man. Deep oh, in without the crack, a doubt. Boy. He Bord- <laughs> Bourdain would have been filming it. He would have been like, and this is brain, and I'm going to... I'm going to I'm going to put uh, I'm going to stab a needle in uh, my former EP who screwed me over my first deal like yeah and now I'm spitting out the rum drinking chicken blood yeah. chicken blood bro I'm spitting the rum and blood and hopefully this means my enemies will catch rickets You just enjoyed that Michael Brooks show video 
And you can get a lot more by subscribing to us here at the Michael Brooks Show YouTube channel. It's literally right there.